Hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you are new in this space, why don't you go ahead and click the notifications button and make sure that you subscribe, okay? Um, we are absolutely continuing the conversation on chaos or experiencing, you know, difficulties when you are trying to keep yourself uplifted and balanced and whole, right, Jake? So, um, what we're going to talk about today is going to give you something that you can actually do in order to alleviate the strain of those thoughts, those recurring thoughts that constantly has your body in fight or flight mode, okay? Um, healing the root chakra is extremely important as us high energy beings continue to expand and experience our creation right because we have to have a sense of security a sense of knowing and safety that we are okay in order to create what it is that we desire to experience right so in order to do that you're going to have to fortify your root chakra i do have a course available for root chakra balancing and feel free to go ahead and check it out if you are in phase one, then you already have this um, this teaching, these lessons at your disposal, okay? Phase one and phase two. So, but before we get into it, I want to make sure that you've checked out the other two um, episodes within this series so that you can get an idea and begin to reformat how you're thinking about what you're experiencing okay that's going to be very important because without a um, without the frame of reference without the the thoughts associated or the shift in understanding with the things that you are experiencing in your creation by way of if you are the highest vibrating being within a space and you're attempting to remain centered and increase the vibration within a space then that video is available and also the video about how to ensure you remain in an uplifted vibration at all times okay and those videos are available to you so go ahead and check those out also, if you're coming from us other social media platforms, I want to welcome you to the space. Hey, fam. Hey. And if you're brand new to the space, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how you are expanding. Let me know if this information is of benefit, okay? And if you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments, right? Because value received, value added, value given all the time, right? So we're in this space together. So together, let's see what we create. Our line of thinking, those pesky thoughts that reoccur, that keeps coming back over and over and over again. Okay? So many of my students and mentees have this same dilemma, a perceived dilemma, because they cannot quiet their mind. And it's because they are at any given time attempting to find a solution to what it is that is hindering them you know, within their creation, the creation being their life. So with that said, in order for you to continue receiving and expanding, you have to have that um, a space of no mind in order to receive those answers, right? So to do that, you have to quiet your mind. You have to quiet the busiest thing on the body, right? Or so it seems. So, so that you can begin to really take those actions and move in a way that is most congruent to how your soul is intended to experience in this life, life being a creation, right? So I want to give you a practical, something practical to do in order to assist you, okay? And it is going to take you to be aware, right? Because awareness, I spoke about that before, awareness is extremely important because this third dimension where we are this realm that we are expressing in is so dense so awareness brings us back focused to get us back centered and balanced okay so understand there is a point and a period
purpose to all of the things. But if you're unaware of how they're actually working, then you are you are less likely to implement and execute in a way that it can produce results for you, right? Because I mean, if you're doing this thing, you might as well see the results of your practice because practice is extremely important and beneficial. I would like to bring your awareness to a few different things, okay? A few different constructs that can assist you. First off, you may or may not know that there is a light body that resides right at the top of your crown, okay? It is positioned outside of the body and it connects you, your light body, into the infinite intelligence that connects us all, okay? Now understand that because you need to be aware of your connection, of the connector, the energy center that is always right outside your light body to connect you to the universal codes and the universal dimensions that are able to be accessed by you. Okay? With that understanding, okay, your left hand, whether you're left or right handed is fine. Your left hand is your receptive hand. We call the left side of the body, we say the left side of the body is the receptive body. It is how we receive. This side of the body is how we receive energy or information from our source, from the connection, from the one mind, from the all that is, from infinite intelligence, okay? With that, you understand the hands are very powerful. It allows us to um, manipulate the things that we are, that we have in them in order to create what it is that we want to experience. So, the hands are very powerful in this regard. That's why you see the Christian monarch all the time with the hands extended in order to receive, right? So understand, we're going to be receiving with the left hand. The left hand representing the left side that is the side that is receptive, that is receiving, okay? So with the left hand, when you are experiencing lines of thinking and you are attempting to quiet your mind, with the left hand, what you're going to do is, while you are engaging or while the thought is present, you are going to take your left hand and bring it to your temple, right? Sort of like this, as a way like you're about to pinch, okay? So you're going to bring it to your temple. And what you're going to do is you can keep your eyes closed or open. You are going to extract the thought, the line of thinking that is causing a perceived hindrance to you, okay? the line of thinking that you want to be without for the moment so that you can still the body and still the mind in order to receive what it is is your next right to overcome if overcoming is the goal so you get your pinchers and you bring them to your temple and you're going to simply extract the thought okay you may or may not feel something when you extract the thought and it's okay it doesn't matter because now all you need to know is that you have the thought right here at your fingertips. That light, that energy, right? Because thoughts are energy. Thoughts are light. That light, that energy, that information that was in your mind, you have brought it now to your awareness in your fingertips. Okay? This is a powerful practice. You're going to take that thought. And you are going to, this is your right hand, okay? The right hand represents the side where we give, okay? This is the side of us giving, expressing, um, assisting, because we're giving ourselves freedom to receive by creating a blank mental state, okay? So you take the thought that you have in your receptive hand, your left hand, and you're gonna simply place it in your right hand and you're gonna cup it, right? Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to visualize in your hand this light. There's a tiny, tiny light in your hand right now that is the line of thinking that you are alleviating yourself from right now, okay? Within your right hand is that line of thinking 
and it's some little bitty light. With your right hand, what you're going to do is you're going to give that light up. And you're going to open your hand to allow it to be free. And you are going to give it to that golden, to that energy center that is hovering right above your head. You are going to give that thought to that energy center. And that energy center is going to take that thought and give it to infinite intelligence so that you can receive the solve, so that you can receive the fix, so that you can have the answers that you are looking for, okay? Now, big thing about this is, it's a very powerful practice, but you will have to practice. The big thing about this is, is that you're going to have to be in a position to receive the answers. Understand, the answer or the way forward will not be what you are used to. Because if you had the answers for the solve, then you would have already employed them. You would have already taken action, okay? So whatever it is that you need in order to assist you with that solve, you are going to receive it by giving it to infinite intelligence. The all that is, the all knowing, the one mind, so that you can then receive back how to create and how to continue moving forward. You're going to have to be receptive and receive what is here for you. So you will have to employ discernment to understand that what you are receiving is to your highest and best. Always. I trust that makes sense. Let me know if this information completes this series and we can move forward from there. If more clarity is needed, then more clarity is provided. But I will ask you to practice for yourself first. Allow yourself to create a healthy habit to where as you are assisting your body in remembering the tools that is most beneficial for you in order for you to create the experience that you are desiring. I see the sun outside. Everything's gonna be alright.